So in this video, we are going to uh, check out the Ad Microsoft Teams Admin Center's dashboard. All you have to do is go to office.com, log in with your credentials, then you can click on here on this admin. From there, you can, this is the Office 365 Admin Center dashboard. It's called Home, but uh, we want to go to the Teams dashboard here. <coughs> Excuse me and this is the dashboard it's pretty easy it shows you team upgrade status is available you can refresh it and it will give you planning your upgrade to team so it's like if there is an update you can go through here and basically basically it's talking about from skype to teams uh, uh, skype is here to stay until at least ne july of next year that is 2021 um, so yes so uh, you're good, but uh, eventually Teams will take over and everything will be done via Teams. They have a um, app as well. Uh, I should show you that one. Let me fire up my... I'm going to pause the video here. So I'm back. Uh, you can see this video over... Uh, sorry, this virtual machine is being loaded. So we're going to wait for that to show you uh, the app that, or messenger type uh, interface that uh, you can go the other way is obviously from the web um, version that uh, I showed you in the previous video. This one is deploying Teams workload. We'll take a look at in the end because it says start. Over here, it shows you your user activity. So like uh, what they have been doing in the past uh, days since uh, if you have uh, seen my videos on my Office 365 series, we were doing something here, but only me and my son. So we couldn't do much and then he dropped the idea of ever using it and <laughs> now he wants me to uninstall it from his tablet this is the web's user search like you can use search if i click off use so it says it's invalid let's see trump show up nope six to 120 mm, donald trump it showed up right so if i click on bell uh Colin. <clears throat> then that's another user so you would know my users if you had seen my videos <clears throat> so this is how you can search users or you can click on their hair and it will list all the users you have and if you're in a larger organization it will be if not thousands at least hundreds <clears throat> so you see these are all my uh, users uh, that is part of my organization and they have their own accounts and all that <clears throat> obviously I was trying to use search Ali I cannot because um, <clears throat> it needed at least six character Ali is only three <clears throat> now from here I can search Ali just fine so we'll get back to it uh, later on in a later on video team user activity we already went through this is the team usage like what they have been doing what they sent a message, they shared files, how many users were active, active users in channels, messages, and active channels. So it's there will be some barcodes over here, i.e., and it takes you right here from the main page. We'll go one by one uh, eventually from through all of them. This is the user activity again by the date like what they did message chat message and all that if i click on it it again takes me right there we can go back and see that in detail later on team device usage how many devices are being used uh we used the windows uh, last night that's why it should popped up here normally me and my son we both have android uh, so that's the android uh where they are showing one maybe one was active yes <coughs> team usage is uh, yep right there and if I click here it takes me to again to analytics and reports <clears throat> finally I wanted to show you this one like if you are going for the training or learn more if uh, you click here it takes you to this page this is I like uh, docs.microsoft.com they are not very well written like they're not spoon feeding but you really have to uh, put your brain into it but they are pretty good so <clears throat> the other thing was that 
these are all documents so you can see them this is the training uh, don't uh, I don't know if you fell for them the reason that's why I made this videos uh, office 365 as well when you go there you click on the for example I'm gonna click this link and you see I'm, I'm gonna be hey I was so thrilled when I saw this page first time and you see all of that I was like okay yeah really I'm gonna learn all this so if you click on here You see it's for 23 minutes and if you play this video is to store it all pains it's a lot of uh, text the user or profile, pens, talking the and slides it's not like a hands-on like you can show okay if you do this this is how you add user this is how you add machine this is how you create channels it was not like that so that's the reason that I'm making this video I had to learn it uh, myself and then I thought why not uh, help other people's out because that this training this is really not especially the 30 365 though what they are showing over there a lot of theory that has nothing to do with what uh, your job actually requires you to do so <clears throat> it may be good to pass their test but it's nothing good compared to what you are required uh, on your actual job so let me log in here if it let me <clears throat> so that was it because uh, of the for, for the dashboard oh yeah we have to click on deploying team workload let's see this is a new thing use the start button service management team rollout workload you want to roll out is because the workload is like you are sharing responsibility with somebody <clears throat> deploy workload is right here and workload will be meeting a conference like who will do that and I think a uh, four by eight or five five or seven steps were done so if I click here I can go next I'm gonna leave them for later on for a later video I want to keep these videos short and under 10 minutes if I can and I, I will go one by one with all of them so let's go back <coughs> and over here <coughs> I wanted to show you and then I will uh, like uh, end this video so this oh no this one is microsoft teams uh, um, messenger kind of app like a desktop app you will say if you want to and the system is still loading okay now it's loading automatically so so this is the um, teams uh, app if you must this is like you can join this if you click here you can join uh, another thing meeting with Aslan you can do the meeting thing from this uh, station then you can create more channel add more people you can do it, literally everything uh, like from the web you can do it from here as well <clears throat> so these are your chats teams calls files everything that I showed you last night on that uh, uh, web app it's here you can see one drive is there you can add more cloud so this is just a uh, app uh, for windows so if you close it this shows up here microsoft teams available so it's like if somebody sends you a message it pops up here uh, we will do go through with that later on uh, let's right now let's wrap this video if you this video has helped you helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one